Hey guys, I'm on a hike here above San Luis Obispo and I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about mold testing versus mold avoidance. Uh, you know, should you test your environment to see if it's safe for you? Or should you do mold avoidance based on your reactivity, trying to avoid things you react to? I'm gonna make an argument that doing mold avoidance is much better. Um, mold avoidance is essentially a test. By doing mold avoidance, you learn what your reactivities are and how much your body can handle. And then you're able to, av to avoid those exposures that are problematic to you on the fly without having to send in tests because conditions change too often. Uh, you know, grocery stores and work buildings and um, vacations and dentist offices and how much exposure can you tolerate? Which buildings can you be in for five minutes or five hours or five days or not at all? Um, how strong is your body right now? It's what Eric Johnson calls the power curve. Some days you may be able to tolerate a lot more mold, other days not. Um, is your sleeping environment good? These are all questions that really matter in the recovery process and they also vary from day to day. And by employing an Eric style mold avoidance strategy, you learn to be able to tell which exposures are problematic for you and which are not and how much exposures you can get. And you just can't do that sending in a $400 uh, ERMI test, uh, you know, every, everywhere you go, every minute, every day. I mean, even if you had unlimited money and you could send in thousands of ERMI tests all the time, um, everybody's reactivity is different. Maybe aspergillus is your problem and, and other molds aren't so much. You have to learn what you can handle. So not only is mold avoidance a healing uh, tool in and of itself, um, it's totally given me my life back. It is also uh, a tool to become your own testing mechanism so that you can know what environments are safe for you and for how long and still be moving toward recovery. Um, it's a very empowering thing. A lot of people say, oh, mold avoidance is so restrictive. It really isn't. Because here I am getting my health back, feeling great, going on long hikes while everyone else is sick in bed. And I don't have to wonder if my environment is good enough for me and if I'm making progress. A lot of the people who rely on testing, they constantly wonder, when is my next doctor's appointment? When am I gonna get my test results in? Do the, are the test results accurate? This is self-empowering. This allows me to not need to spend money and rely on the medical establishment and on faulty testing to decide what exposures I can handle. Mold avoidance allows you to tell. You might walk into a building that smells kind of musty but if you are a mold avoider and you have some experience, you can realize this, is, this mold is not a problem for me. It doesn't give me the kind of reactions that lead to long-term decline, and you'll learn that. Um, and then that might allow you to go out to dinner with your friends and not have to worry about it. Uh, on the other hand, a house that tests okay on a professional mold test might be a problem for you, and you might need to sleep somewhere else. Um, I sleep in the back of my truck a lot of nights, which is just a metal camper shell. And a lot of people say, oh, that's, sorry, I've got sweat dripping into my eyes because I'm on this long hike. But a lot of people say, oh, you sleep in your truck, it's so horrible. No, it isn't. I wake up feeling great. I wake up at 6 a.m. I have a glass of coffee, which I could never tolerate before. I go on a hike and a run. And by 9 a.m., I'm ready for the day while everyone else is still sick in bed waiting for their doctor's appointment. So it's a little bit of a paradigm shift to be willing to experiment with alternative housing and listen to your reactivity. But I would argue that in every possible way, mold avoidance beats mold testing and environmental testing. In fact, I think environmental testing is basically just a capitalism business racket that is trying to take our money just like everything else. I spend almost no money on mold avoidance, you guys, other than my alternative housing, but my truck camper shell is 1200 bucks. Today I spent $2 on a bottle of water that I can hike with while everyone else is spending $10,000 on doctor's appointments like I used to do and not getting any better. So if you guys are curious about my recovery story using mold avoidance, you can check out my new book, Lyme Disease Supercharge. Um, if you don't wanna buy the book, it's like $5 on Kindle, but if you don't wanna buy it, we have a, 
a lot of free resources, uh, our practical mold avoidance group on Facebook. You can join that. That has a lot of files and videos and, and stuff you guys can check out. But I can't emphasize to you enough the amazing turn and change my life took when I began doing extreme mold avoidance and all the little things that seemed impossible like sleeping in a truck just seemed so impossible when I was sick. Now it's like not even a big deal and it's just part of the part of the process of, um, of feeling great. So when you start to really actually feel great, everything changes and you don't really care about little inconveniences anymore and your whole perspective changes. So give it a try, look into practical mold avoidance uh, extreme mold avoidance and remember I am not a doctor I am just a guy who spent two or three hundred thousand dollars on medicine never really got any better and now I do extreme mold avoidance and I can go in plenty of buildings uh, I can be with my friends and my family I can raise my kids I can go hiking in the beauty I just don't think about being sick really anymore I mean yeah I, I still have to be careful but if I avoid an adequate amount of mold, I'm a healthy, normal person. I eat normal foods. I don't have gluten sensitivity anymore. I still avoid gluten, but if I accidentally eat it, it's no big deal. I can have a beer. I can drink alcohol. I don't have allergies and sensitivities, and my electromagnetic sensitivity is 99% gone. You guys, America is a capitalistic system that is trying to take your money. I would encourage you to figure out what works and do that instead of giving everybody your money. Okay, this is Brian Rosner. Have a great day, guys.